Esperando. Hi, my name is Fran, and I'm doing this video in English. Woohoo! Because I can, because I know the language, because I can do it, yeah. So today I'm going to do a really, really simple video about a haul. It is really a famous kind of video here in the YouTube community to do hauls. But today I'm not going to do a clothing or makeup haul because honestly, if I have the money, I never spend it in makeup or clothing. I probably should do it because I need makeup and clothes. So uh, today it was my last day of my German class. It was really intense. So yeah, I'm done with the part one of A2. And a really good friend uh, that I made in A2, it's Maya. Hi, Maya, if you're watching this. Uh, she was really nice to inform me that near our German, the German school, uh, it is a really famous kind of uh, art supply store. So I looked it up and I go today and this is the... This is the bag. I should probably tell you that I am an illustrator. You probably know that or not. Yeah, this is the bag! <laughs> because usually in the, in the halls, the first thing that the, the people do in the halls are look in the bag. Look at the bag. It's soft and papery. It's, it is this... It exists, this word, like papery. Okay, I, I just... I'm mumbling, I'm sorry. First of all, I never realized that Bösner... Bösner? Um, is the art supply store. I will never imagine that this thing was so big so if you're in Berlin or near Berlin you should and well you love to illustrate or do something related to the art uh, <laughs> art world uh, you should definitely go, go and check it out. I visit the um, Prince Lauer uh, bag um, uh, department. No. Well, the, the story that is in Prenzlauer Berg, anyway. And it was kind of big, kind of, like really, really big. If you ever visit New York, this is like the... Uh, how do you explain it? This is like the Blix. Blix, do you know Blix? It's a huge uh, art supply store in New York. This is kind of the Blix, but for Berlin. So it's kind of huge. It's a huge store, just full of art... Uh, thingies and art supplies and okay I will stop here so the first thing that I bought is um, this Huhu Patafix you probably know this kind of thing this is this was the, the boring part of the of the shop today so yeah <laughs> and cool song Yoo so I'm really into Kopi uh, Chiao pens um, and I'm really into it because I am really getting into uh, painting like not in a digital digital way. So this kind of uh, dispenses are really useful if you're trying to make a really good watercolor uh, finish. Okay, I just bought three, but then I realized I used one really much, so I bought um, an extra because. Okay, I don't have my pencil case. This is the color that I got. It's a really soft pink. And I... Oh, man, this this thing is really good. It's really, really, really good. If you're kind of into illustration or doing your own kind of... Um, if you're doing your own illustrations, and you want to try something really nice, like a softy and pastel uh, finish into your uh, drawings, you should definitely try this brand. So since I, ha I have like a really good experience with this, uh, I bought the same uh, color actually because this is running out. And, and then I bought another uh, colors, another tones. I really wanted to try a skin tone color. And then I tried like another pink and um, this is like, uh, this is like a... Um, I don't know the name of this color in English, actually. It's like a bluey... <laughs> it's like a turqu turqu turquoise... Turquoise? Tur turquoise? Turquoise, right? No? Okay, you should... Okay, this is the part when you guys 
really really need to help me out because I I actually don't know the name of this stuff but you know the color you're watching on okay so you just have to tell me the name of the color so I just steal one of the brochures that they have in the Xiao Copic out oh, and the Copic Xiao, Xiao um, pencils and they have I don't know if you can tell in the camera but they have like packages of um, Copic uh, pencils and they're really nice it's like Pokemon you gotta catch them all okay so yeah I don't know why why I'm showing you this and then I bought um, two brushes because I'm really trying to do uh, the outline of my illustrations because they're really good and I bought a really thin kind of pencils I, I just bought the 3 slash 0 and the 0 0 which is insanely thin usually when I uh, when I you say line when you line the illustrations when I okay I use Copic Multiliner but it's the one with the brush tip. I usually use this pencil when I'm when I'm trying to line my illustrations, or I use the uh, Prismacolor Premier. Premier. It sounds German. Premier. Um, and they're really good. But the problem is that when you use it too much, the tip starts to getting all rusty and and disgusting, and the line is not always perfect. So this is why I just bought the brushes because when I start to align my illustrations I, I do it always with this, uh, with, <laughs> with the real brushes and then a friend of mine told me that there actually exist this kind of pencils which, which imitates the brush tip but I found that the brushes are actually better than the actually pencils with the brush tip and the last shot that I need to show you is this travel journal so um, since I'm really into trying new sketchbooks today I bought a um, Börsner, Börsner okay German friends you need to tell me how to pronounce this thing because I don't know how to say it, Börsner? is it Börsner right? okay um, I should probably just open up with you guys here. I was actually expecting not to use it until I made, uh, until I record this video with you because this is usually how her um, hauls work that you should not probably use this stuff until you record the video. So yeah, I was just waiting for you. The thing I love the most about this sketchbook that um, is that, I don't know if you can tell, but the the spreads, the spine of the I love that word. The spine of the of the book of the sketchbook is really wide, so you can open the pages really, like totally. You can you can totally you can totally uh, open the sketchbook wide open, and this is really comfortable for me because um, usually um, I feel really bad when I open the books really widely. But for drawing and sketching on the way in a journey, it's, it's a really comfortable idea just to open this thing up, you know, like rip it off. The paper is really thick, so you probably won't have problems with the, um, with the ink or the mess or if you just, um, how do you say, when you, when you push down really hard the, the the pencil of the paper yeah you know what i mean i love thick paper because i hate when you when i can see the thing that i draw in the last page in the past so yeah it's kind of nice and of course the thingy with elastic is kind of nice too and oh i will use this sketchbook because my best friend is coming and uh we're going together to paris and london so I will probably draw all our experiences together. Oh, uh, the brand of this notebook, this sketchbook is Han Muelle. Han Muelle. Okay, so this is probably the brand. But because it's translated in so many languages, I don't know the actual name. I don't know how to pronounce it. So yeah, it's it's down. So you can check that out. Check that out. Yeah. So this is the. 
This is the whole haul. The whole haul. If you want to know more about me, you should definitely check out my blog, an English blog. So you should definitely check it out. It's down below with the whole information about these products that I just mentioned. If you want to know more about me or the stuff that I'm doing right now, you can follow me at my social media accounts. If you want to uh, recommend me uh, a brand of sketchbooks or pencils or any stuff you like, please, uh, you can do it down below, commenting down below. Yeah, so that's it. Okay, I should definitely go. Okay, <laughs> bye. When you use it, Okay, I'm just going to... Okay. Man, I washed my hair today and it, it already looks like crap. Han Muelle. Han Muel. Oh, I don't know. Han... Han... Hanem... Hanemele? Han... Hanen... Hane... Ha... Hanemuele.